New Zealand fight to keep this four match T20 series alive. Great to have you back here on We Talk Cricket. Today, it was a beautiful performance by New Zealand, showing a lot of grit, a lot of determination to overcome England in this third T20 international. New Zealand batted first, made 202 for five. Finn Allen made a brilliant 83 off 53 balls, and then you had Glenn Phillips with 69 off of 34. Now, if you've been following the series, Phillips has been in form. But today, whoo, he fired and he capitalized anything, anything within length of hitting. He made England pay and so did Allen. It was about time for Allen, actually. About time for him to come good. And today, they made England pay, man. I gotta say, brilliant, brilliant battle from the two of them. Phillips, like I said, it, it was due. It was clearly due. The main destroyer was Atkinson, who made his debut in the second T20 International. And today he took two for 31 off of his four overs. But man, talk about just keeping the game in their control when they batted New Zealand. Challenge in total. Now in England, set a total of 203 to win. You would think, with everything that's happened, that based on how England have batted this series, even though it's a challenge, it would have still been a gettable total. Nope, not today. 128 all out. The main person with the bat today, Josh Butler, with 40 off of 21. But man, when you want to talk about just domination in the bowling, I think New Zealand found something that clicked today. And it wasn't just that. But feeling and bowling, man, like you had Ish Sodi, he had 3 for 33 from his 4 overs. You had Kyle Jamison with 3 for 23 from his 4 overs. You had Tim Saudi with 2 for 30 from his 3.3 overs. Like, everybody contributed today. And I think that's, that's what really helped New Zealand just bulldoze England and bully them today. Because... England have been dominating this series so far, like, New Zealand haven't, haven't been in any type of competition until today. But New Zealand showed why they shouldn't be underestimated. To win by 74 runs today, I gotta say, New Zealand has made a statement. Now the thing is, can they hold on and draw slash level this series in the final match. I think that's where it's all gonna come to heads. Like surviving today, yeah, I think that was that was needed. Like I think the team knew that hey, we needed to survive today. Regardless of what we've done before, we had to survive today. And, and like I said, it just comes back to can they step up again in the fourth and final. Ferguson was out today. Jameson was a great inclusion into the side. So good thinking because I think Ferguson with his extra pace, he kind of played into England's hands when it come, came to batting. But I, So I got to say, good choice in the selection part. But the batsman delivered and the bowlers defended. Whereas in England's part, like I said, I think that the total wasn't daunting. They just couldn't get it together. So I'm excited to see. I am really excited to see if New Zealand will level this series. And if you really want the fans view, you know what you got to come back to, man. Because this is the only place where the only thing we talk about is cricket. Until next time. Later.